Hi, welcome all to the online classes. Today, I am Mukesh Bharadwaj, uh, going to discuss on the topic types of diodes. In the previous class, we had completed with the theory related to the diodes, how the diodes are formed. Uh, we had already covered that there are two types of uh, diode, P-type diode and N-type diode. Uh, P-type semiconductor or N-type semiconductor when they are joined to each other by any means of technique, then they form a diode. And uh, we had uh, also go through the characteristic of diode, what is uh, the internal physics uh, happen or related to the diode how the depletion region get formed when you are going to diffuse uh, two uh, semiconductors p type or n type together your joint togetherly now <clears throat> on the basis of that fundamentals uh, we are going to discuss about the types of diode there are certain types of diode uh, in uh, which we are do just uh, slight changes and uh, the characteristics and the output will entirely different and the application is uh, almost very different than the normal diodes and they are widely used wherever they are heavy uh, we are wherever, wherever they are required for the very specific purpose so diode types of diode The various types of diodes are as follows, Gina diode, avalanche diode, photo diode, light emitting diode, laser diode, <coughs> tunnel diode, uh, short key diode, reactor diode and PN junction diode. Okay. Next, yes, the VI characteristic of a simple silicon based diode or a germanium based diode we had already discussed. I'm just giving the short review, the VI characteristic of PN junction diode. The VI characteristic or voltage current characteristic of the PN junction diode is shown in the uh, figure below. The horizontal line uh, in the below figure represents the amount of voltage applied that is on the X axis across the PN junction diode whereas the vertical line represents that is y axis amount of current flows in the pn junction diode so <clears throat> this is a pictorial representation or diagrammatic representation of a vi characteristic of a pn junction diode uh, in figure first if the diode is a silicon based then you are observing the knee voltage come out to be 0.7 volt and if the diode is germanium based then the knee voltage is come out to be 0.3 volt okay, next when the external voltage applied on the silicon diode reaches 0.7 volt the pn junction diode starts allowing large electric current through it at this point a small increase increase in voltage increases the electric current rapidly the voltage at which the silicon diode starts allowing large electric current is called cut-in voltage the cut-in voltage for silicon diode is approximately 0.7 volts when the external voltage applied on the germanium diode reaches 0.3 volt the germanium diode starts allowing large electric current through it at this point a small increase in voltage increases the electric current rapidly the forward voltage at which the germanium diode starts allowing large electric current is called cut-in voltage or knee voltage the cut-in voltage for germanium diode is approximately 0.3 volt reverse vi characteristic of pn junction diode when we do the reverse biasing across the pn junction then what will happen to its VI characteristics? If the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the P-type semiconductor and the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the N-type semiconductor, the diode is said to be in reverse bias. In reverse bias PN junction diode, VI, VR represents the reverse voltage, whereas IR represents the reverse current. 
if the external reverse voltage applied on the pn junction diode is increased the free electrons from the n type semiconductor and the holes from the p type semiconductor are moved away from the pn junction this increase the width of depletion region so in this way when 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 we are when we are doing the reverse biasing the first impact come, comes on the pn junction and due to the result of that that width of the depletion uh, width of the depletion region increases <coughs> the wide depletion region of reverse uh, pn junction diode completely blocks the majority charge carrier current completely block the majority carrier charge current however it allows the minority charge carrier current the free electrons minority carriers in the p type semiconductor and the holes minority carriers in the n type semiconductor carry the electric current the electric current which is carried by the minority charge carriers in the p junction diode is called reverse current in n type and p type semiconductor very small number of minority charge carriers is present hence a small voltage applied on the diode pushes all the minority carriers towards the junction thus further increase in the external voltage does not increase the electric current this electric current is called reverse saturation current in other words the voltage or point at which the electric current reaches at a maximum level and further increase in voltage does not increase the electric current is called reverse saturation current <coughs> <coughs> next so this is the diagram uh, diagrammatically representation of uh, reverse biasing or vi characteristic of a reverse uh, biasing diode so as you increase the voltage in reverse bias the current is not increasing till to the breakdown voltage and uh, after the breakdown voltage the current rapidly increases and at this moment we can say that diode is not no more diode or it will completely burn out or it cannot be used for further application or it cannot be used as like a switch and all that so this is the reverse bias vi characteristic of a diode the reverse saturation current is depends on the temperature so the reverse saturation current the temperature phenomena is also important Uh, while doing the reverse biasing or the forward biasing the reverse saturation current is, is depending on the temperature if temperature increases the generation of minority charge carriers increases and the reverse current current increases with the increase in temperature however the reverse saturation current is independent of the external reverse voltage hence the reverse saturation current remains constant with the increase in voltage however if the voltage applied on the diode is increased continuously increasing continuously the pn junction diode reaches to a state where the junction breakdown occurs and reverse current increases rapidly yes <clears throat> however if the voltage applied on the diode is increased continuously 
and the pn junction tile reaches to a state where junction breakdown occurs and reverse current increases rapidly in germanium diode a small increase in temperature generates large number of minority charge carriers uh, the number of minority charge uh, carriers generated in the germanium diode is greater than the silicon diode hence the reverse saturation current in the germanium diode is greater than the silicon diodes depletion region breakdown so depletion region breakdown uh, the process by which a depletion region at the pn junction is destroyed and allow the large reverse current is called depletion region breakdown The process by which a depletion region at the PN junction is destroyed and allows a large reverse current is called depletion region breakdown. In reverse bias PN junction diode, the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the P-type semiconductor, whereas, uh, whereas Whereas <coughs> in reverse bias PN junction diode, the negative terminal of the battery is connected to P type semiconductor, where the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the N type uh, semiconductor. If the reverse voltage applied on the diode is increased, the width of the depletion region increases. This depletion region blocks the majority carrier current. However, it allows the minority carrier current. This minority carrier current in the reverse bias pin junction diode is called reverse current or reverse saturation current. Next. The width of the depletion region. <clears throat> the width of the depletion region increases with increase in voltage only up to certain value uh, or point. If the reverse voltage applied on the PN junction diode is increased beyond that value or point, the junction breakdown and allows a large reverse current. At this point, a small increase in voltage rapidly increase electric current. Uh, the voltage or point at which junction breakdown occurs is called breakdown voltage. The breakdown voltage of a PN junction diode depends on the width of the depletion region. The PN junction diodes with wide depletion region have high breakdown voltage, whereas the PN junction diode with narrow depletion region have low breakdown voltage. The depletion region breakdown or junction breakdown occurs in two different methods. Those two different methods are Zener breakdown and Avalanche breakdown. Now, we come to understand that topic, uh, the reverse breakdown is occurs, but there are two phenomena of a reverse breakdown. One is Zener breakdown and second is the avalanche breakdown. Now, what do you mean by the avalanche breakdown? The avalanche breakdown occurs in lightly doped PN junction diodes. Lightly doped PN junction diodes have wider depletion region. Hence, it is not possible for the external voltage or external field to destroy the depletion region directly. However, it can destroy the depletion region or immobile charge carriers region with the help of minority carriers. The generation of minority carriers in the reverse bias PN junction diode does not depend on the applied reverse voltage. It depends only on the temperature. However, the applied reverse voltage on the PN junction diode supplies energy to the minority carriers. 
free electrons at the p-type and holes at n-type semiconductor. The free electrons which gain energy from the external voltage are accelerated to greater velocities. If the voltage applied to p-n junction diode is further increased to a higher value, the free electrons gain large amount of energy and travel at very high speed. When these high speed free electrons collide with the atoms, ions or valence electrons, they transfer their kinetic energy to the valence electrons. The valence electrons which gain enough energy from the high speed free electrons will break the bonding with the parent atom and becomes a free electron. The point at which the free electron left is called a hole. Thus, a free electron at the conduction band and a hole at the valence band is generated as pair. <laughs> the newly generated free electrons gains energy from the external voltage source and travel at high speed. If this newly generated free electron collides with an atom or ion, another free electron and holes is generated. Likewise, a large number of minority carriers are generated with few free electrons. This process is called carrier multiplication. In other words, carrier multiplication is the process by which collision of single free electron with the atom or ion leads to the generation of multiple free electrons. Thus, at high reverse voltage, a number of minority carriers is generated. This large number of minority carriers causes sudden increase in reverse current, which leads to the breakdown, junction breakdown. In other words, the sudden rise in reverse current destroys the motionless carriers region or depletion region. The high speed minority carriers, which causes the depletion breakdown or junction breakdown is called avalanche breakdown. So, the high speed minority carrier, which causes the depletion breakdown, is called avalanche breakdown. Okay. Now, we are moving forward for the Gina breakdown. So, paying more attention, the Gina breakdown occurs in heavily doped PN junction diodes. Heavily doped PN junction diodes have narrow depletion region. Obviously, if there is heavily doped uh, P or N junction, then the depletion region is almost narrow. If the reverse voltage is applied on the narrow depletion P and junction diode, the immobile ion in the depletion region gains energy from the external voltage. Hence, the electric field of the immobile ions increases. As a result, the overall electric field of the narrow depletion region increases. And uh, this is the pictorial representation in the reverse biasing uh, for heavily doped PN junction type diode. Uh, a narrow depletion region is formed and strong electric field pulls valence electrons from the ions. If the voltage applied on the PN junction diode is increased to a higher value, a very strong electric field is built in this narrow depletion region. This is a strong electric field of a narrow depletion region applies force on the valence electron and pulls them from the valence band. Thus, <clears throat> free electrons and holes are generated as pairs. Likewise, a large number of minority carriers are generated in the depletion region. At this point, a small increase in reverse voltage causes a sudden rise in reverse current. This sudden rise of reverse current destroy the depletion region or PN junction. So this is uh, almost very similar to the avalanche breakdown, but the limiting value is somewhat higher than the avalanche. Okay, just due to the heavily doped. The strong electric field of narrow depletion region, which causes the junction breakdown. Uh, or depletion breakdown is called Gener breakdown. Now, ideal diode. If I talk about the ideal diode, um, 
as per the definition of the diode, diode behaves like a switch. That means in forward bias, it allows the current, but in uh, reverse bias, it uh, totally blocks the current. The ideal diode or perfect diode is a two terminal device, which completely allows electric current without any loss under forward bias and completely blocks the electric current with infinite loss under reverse bias. Under forward bias condition, ideal diode acts as a perfect conductor with zero resistance, whereas under reverse bias condition, it acts as perfect insulator with infinite resistance. In other words, ideal diodes act as a closed circuit or a short circuit under forward bias condition and act as an open circuit or open switch under reverse bias condition. Ideal diodes do not or does not have depletion region or junction barrier which resists the flow of electric current. Hence, ideal diode has no voltage drop or voltage loss. But practically, it is not possible. This is the VI characteristic of ideal diode. <coughs> That's mean in forward bias, when you just put the voltage or apply the voltage, the current instantly increases to its maximum level. And when uh, in the reverse uh, reverse condition, if you apply the voltage in reverse biasing, then how much or as much voltage you increase in the reverse, the current will not going to increase and it is zero at all. Real diode, we had seen across the real diodes and we had discussed the real diodes. The real diode or practical diode is a two terminal device which allow most of the electric current under forward bias and block most of the electric current under reverse bias. Under forward bias, real diodes allow most of the electric current and block small electric currents whereas under reverse bias, real diode block most of the electric current and allow small. Ideal diode starts allowing the electric current once the forward voltage is applied, however the real diode behaves differently. The real diodes do not allow the electric current. If the forward voltage is less than the cut-in voltage, then the, then the cut-in voltage. However, the forward voltage applied on the real diode reaches the cut-in voltage, it start allowing the electric current. When forward voltage is applied on the real diode, it does not allow the electric current up to certain voltage because the depletion region present at the PN junction block the electric current. However, once it reaches the voltage, real diode start allowing the electric current. In other words, if the voltage applied on the real diode reaches 0.7 for silicon and 0.3 for germanium, the electric current rises suddenly. The voltage at which real diode start allowing the electric current is called cut-in voltage. This cut-in voltage is different for silicon and germanium diodes. For silicon diode, the knee voltage or cut-in voltage is approximately 0.7 volt, whereas for germanium diode, the knee voltage or cut-in voltage is approximately 0.3 volt. Diode junction capacitance and the PN junction diode, two types of capacitance takes place. They are transition capacitance and diffusion capacitance. So we had already uh, discussed about the diode junction capacitance, transition capacitance. I will not going to repeat this. Now this is the diffusion capacitance. Now this uh, diode resistance. <coughs> diode resistance, PN junction diode allows electric current in one direction, blocks electric current in another direction. It allows electric current when it is forward bias and blocks electric current when it is reverse bias. However, no diode allows electric current completely even, even in forward bias condition. The depletion region present in a diode acts like barrier to the electric current, hence it offers resistance to the electric current. Also, the atoms present in the diode provide some resistance to the electric current. When charge carriers, free electrons and holes flowing through the diode collides with the atom, they lose energy in the form of heat. The depletion region and atoms offer resistance to the electric current when the forward bias voltage is applied to the PN junction diode. The width of the depletion region decreases. However, the depletion region cannot be completely vanished. 
there exists a thin depletion region or a depletion layer in the forward bias diode. Therefore, a thin depletion region and atoms in the diode offer some resistance to electric current. This resistance is called forward resistance. When the diode is reverse bias, the width of the depletion region increases. As a result, a large number of charge carriers, free electrons and holes flowing through the diode will block by the depletion region. In a reverse bias diode, only a small amount of electric current flows. The minority carriers present in the diode carry this electric current. Thus, reverse bias diode offer large resistance to the electric current. This resistance is called reverse resistance. The two types of resistance takes place in PN junction diode are forward resistance and the reverse resistance. The forward resistance is the resistance offered by PN junction diode when it is forward biased. In a forward biased PN junction diode, two type of resistance takes place based on the voltage applied. The two types of resistance in the forward biased diode are static resistance or DC resistance, that is DC voltage. Dynamic resistance or AC resistance, that is AC voltage when it is applied. So, static resistance in case of DC or DC voltage or dynamic resistance in case of AC voltage. Static resistance or DC, uh, DC resistance when forward bias voltage is applied to diode that is connected to DC circuit. A DC uh, or direct current flows through the diode. Direct current or electric current is nothing but the flow of charge carriers through a conductor in DC circuit, the charge carriers flow steadily in the single direction or forward direction. The resistance offered by a PN junction diode when it is connected to DC, uh, when it connected to DC, <coughs> circuit is called static resistance. Static resistance is also defined as the ratio of DC voltage applied across uh, diode to the DC current or direct current flowing through the diode. The resistance offered by the PN junction diode under forward bias condition is denoted by RF. RF equals to DC voltage upon DC current. Dynamic resistance or AC resistance. The dynamic resistance is the resistance offered by the PN junction diode when AC voltage is applied. When forward biased voltage is applied to a diode that is connected to AC circuit, an AC or alternating current flows through the diode. In AC circuit, charge carriers or electric current does not flow in single direction. It flows in both forward and reverse direction. Dynamic resistance is also defined as the ratio of change in voltage to the change in current. It is denoted as RF, change in voltage upon change in current. Reverse resistance, the reverse resistance is the resistance offered by the PN junction diode when it is reverse biased. When reverse bias voltage is applied to the PN junction diode, the width of the depletion region increases. This depletion region acts as a barrier to the electric current and a large amount of electric current is blocked by the depletion region. Thus, reverse bias diode offers large resistance to the electric current. The resistance offered by the reverse bias PN junction diode is very large compared to the forward bias diode. The reverse resistance is in the range of mega ohms. Thank you. Now, this is all about the sum uh, related to the diode fundamentals. Now, types of diode. The various types of diode are follow Zener diode, Avalanche diode, Photo diode, Light emitting diode, Laser diode, Tunnel diode, Short key diode and Reactor diode. Gina diode. Gina diode is a special type of device designed to operate in the Gina breakdown region. Gina diode acts like normal PN junction diode under forward bias condition. When forward bias voltage is applied to the Gina diode, it allows a large amount of electric current and blocks only a small amount of electric current. So the Gina diode acts like a normal PN junction diode under forward bias condition. And uh, this is specially designed to operate in Gener breakdown region. Uh, Gener diode is heavily doped than the normal PN junction diode because uh, we had uh, already discussed about the Gener uh, breakdown and the avalanche breakdown. Uh, so the Gener diode is heavily doped than the normal PN junction diode, hence it is a very thin depletion region. Therefore, Gina diode allow more electric current than the normal PN junction diode. It behaves like a normal PN junction diode, but 
it allow more electric current than the normal pn junction diode because they are uh, may uh, heavily doped and the formation is uh, done on the heavily doping of the diode pn diode is a pn junction semiconductor device designed to operate in the reverse breakdown region the breakdown voltage of a gna diode is carefully set by controlling the doping level during manufacture the name gna diode was named after the american physicist clarence melvin jr who discovered the gna effect gna diodes are the basic building blocks of electronic circuits they are widely used in all kinds of electronic equipments gna diodes are mainly used to protect electronic circuits from over voltage breakdown on breakdown in gna diode there are two types of reverse breakdown regions in gna diode avalanche breakdown and gna breakdown so gna breakdown occurs at low reverse voltage where avalanche breakdown occurs at high reverse voltage gna breakdown occurs in gna diodes because they have very thin depletion region breakdown region is normal operating region for gna diode gna breakdown occurs in gna diode with gna voltage less than 6 volt This is the symbolic representation of a uh, Zener diode. The symbol of Zener diode is shown in the figure. The Zener diode consists of two terminal cathode and anode. In Zener diode, electric current flows from both anode to cathode and cathode to anode. The symbol of uh, Zener diode is similar to the normal pn junction diode, but with band edges on the vertical bar. This is the VI characteristic of a Zener diode. The VI characteristic of a Zener diode is shown in the below figure. Forward bias voltage is applied to the Zener diode. It works like a normal diode. However, when reverse bias voltage is applied to the Zener diode, it works in different manner. When reverse bias voltage is applied to Zener diode, it allows only small amount of leakage current until the voltage is less. Until the voltage is less. Uh, then Zener voltage, when reverse bias voltage applied to the Zener diode reaches Zener voltage, it starts allowing large amount of electric current. Uh, at this point, a small increase in reverse voltage will rapidly increase the electric current. Because of this sudden rise in electric current, breakdown occurs called Zener breakdown. However, Zener down uh, Zener diode exhibits a control breakdown that does it damage the device. the zener breakdown voltage of the zener diode is depends on the amount of doping applied uh, if the diode is heavily doped zener breakdown occurs at low reverse voltages on the other hand if the diode is lightly doped the zener breakdown occurs at high reverse voltages zener diodes are available with zener voltages in the range of 1.8 volt to 400 volt so basically the zener diodes are uh, available with zener voltages they are available with zener voltages the specification is generally on the basis of their voltage uh, parameter advantages of zener diode uh, power dissipation capacity is very high now applications of zener diode it's it is normally used as voltage reference zener diodes are used in voltage stabilizers or shunt regulators zener diodes are used in switching operations zener diodes are used in clipping and clamping circuits zener diodes are used in various protection circuits next Now next diode is photodiode. So photodiode is basically is a pn junction or pn semiconductor device that consume light energy uh, to generate electric current. It also sometimes 
referred as photo detector, photo sensor or light detector. Photodiodes are specifically or specially designed to operate in reverse bias condition. Reverse bias means that the P side of the photodiode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and N side is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Photodiode is very sensitive to light. So when light or photons fall on the photodiode, it easily converts light into electric current. Solar cell is also known as large area uh, photodiode because it converts solar energy uh, or light energy into electric energy. However, solar cell works only at bright light. The construction and working of photodiode is almost similar to the normal PN junction diode. Uh, pin, P-type, intrinsic and N-type. Pin structure is mostly used for constructing the photodiode instead of P-type and N-type. Junction structure because pin structure provides fast responsive time. Pin photodiodes are uh, mostly used in high speed applications. In a normal PN junction diode, voltage is used as the energy source to generate electric current. Whereas in photodiodes, both voltage and light are used as energy source to generate electric current. Next. This is the photodiode symbol. The symbol of photodiode is similar to the normal PN junction diode and except that it contains arrow striking the diode. The arrows striking the diode represent light or photons. Objective and limitation of photodiode. Photodiode should be always operated in reverse bias condition. Applied reverse bias voltage should be low. Generate low noise, high gain, high response speed, high sensitivity to light, low sensitivity to temperature, low cost, small in size and having a long lifetime. Photodiode application, the various application of photodiodes are, uh, they are basically uh, used in various type of uh, applications like uh, compact disc players, CD players, uh, smoke detectors, space applications, photodiodes are used in medical applications such as computed tomography instruments to analyze samples and pulse oximeters. Photodiodes are used for optical communication. Photodiodes are used to measure extremely low light intensities. Performance parameters of photodiode. Responsitivity. Responsitivity is the ratio of generated photocurrent to the incident light power. Quantum efficiency <coughs> uh, is defined as the ratio of the number of electron hole pairs, photoelectrons generated to the incident photons, uh, response time or transient type, transit time. The response time of a photodiode is defined as the time it takes for light generated charge carrier to cross PN junction. Next. How photodiode works? A normal PN junction diode allows a small amount of electric current under reverse bias condition. To increase the electric current under reverse bias condition, we need to generate more minority carriers. The external reverse voltage applied to the PN junction diode 
will supply energy to the minority carriers but not increase the population of minority carriers. However, a small number of minority carriers are generated due to the external reverse bias voltage. The minority carriers generated at N side or P side will recombine in the same material before they cross the junction. As a result, no electric current flow due to this these electric charge carriers. For example, the minority carriers generated in the P-type material experience a repulsive force from the external voltage and try to move towards N side. However, before crossing the junction, the free electrons recombine with the holes within the same material. As a result, no electric current flows. To overcome this problem, we need to apply external energy directly to the depletion region to generate more charged carriers. A special type of diode called photodiode is designed to generate more number of charged carriers in depletion region. In photodiode, we use light or photons as the external energy to generate charged carriers in the depletion region. Types of photodiode. The working operation of all types of photodiode is same. Uh, different types of photodiodes are developed based on specific application. Photodiodes are developed based on specific application. For example, pin photodiodes are developed to increase the response time or response speed. Pin photodiodes are used where high response speed is needed. The different types of photodiodes are PN junction photodiode, pin photodiode, Aplanche photodiode. Among all three photodiodes, PN junction and pin photodiode are most widely used. Pin photodiode are developed from pn junction photodiodes the operation of pin photodiode is similar to the pn junction photodiode except that the pin photodiode is manufactured differently to improve its performance the pin photodiode is developed to increase the minority carrier current and response time pin photodiodes generate more electric current than the pn junction photodiodes with the same amount of light energy layers of pin photodiode so this is the diagrammatically representation of pin photodiode or a pin uh, a pn junction photodiode is made of two layers namely p type and n type semiconductor whereas pin photodiode is made of made of three layers namely p type n type and intrinsic semiconductor in pin photodiode an additional layer called intrinsic semiconductor is placed between the p type and n type semiconductor to increase the minority carrier current Pin photodiode operation. A pin photodiode is made of uh, pin region and N region separated by a highly resistive intrinsic layer. The intrinsic layer is placed between the P region and N region to increase the width of the depletion region. The P type and N type semiconductors are heavily doped. Therefore, the P region and N region of the pin photodiode has large number of charge carriers to carry electric current. However, these charge carriers will not carry electric current under reverse bias condition. On the other hand, intrinsic semiconductor is undoped semiconductor material. Therefore, intrinsic region does not have charge carriers to conduct electric current. So, this is the basic operation. Under reverse bias condition, the majority charge carriers in N region and P region moves away from the junction. As a result, the width of the depletion region becomes very wide. Therefore, majority carriers will not carry electric current under reverse bias condition. However, the minority carriers will carry electric uh, current because they experience repulsive force from the external electric field. In pin photodiode, the charge carriers generated in the depletion region carry most of the electric current. The charge carrier generated in the P region or N region carry only a small electric current. When a light or a photon energy is applied to the pin diode, most part of the energy is observed by the intrinsic or depletion region. Because of the wider depletion width, as a result, a large number of electron hole pairs are generated. Free electrons generated in intrinsic region moves towards N side, whereas holes generated in intrinsic region move towards P side. The free electrons and holes move from one region to another region. 
carry electric current when free electrons and holes reach n region and p region they are attracted towards the positive and negative terminals of the battery so this is the diagrammatic representation of pin photodiode incident photons are continuously falling on a pin photodiode and as you see the depletion or intrinsic region is very um, big or wider and as the incident photon strike on the pin photodiode the some reaction happens and the electrons and the holes get energy and start moving towards uh, opposite sides and start conducting a current and uh, advantage of pin photodiode wide bandwidth high quantum efficiency high response speed these are the advantage of pin photodiode so on the basis of these advantages we are used in different application now light emitting diode so before starting to the light emitting diode uh, i would like to discuss some question or questionaries just wait a minute So um, these are the further slides for the uh, diodes. We will cover these uh, uh, di different types of diodes in the next lecture. Uh, but I want to show some questionaries related to the Gina diode and pin diode uh, in the next lecture. So thank you. Thank you all. Have a nice day.